G'day, I'm John Ford for Caravan World and we're in Marimbula for Australia's Best Hybrids event brought to you by Tough Dog Four Wheel Drive Suspension. Behind me is the amazing Exodus. It's an off-roader from complete campsites on the mid north coast of New South Wales. It's an absolutely stunning van. So it's chock full of features and electronics. Let's see how it stacks up against its competition this year. The Exodus 18 from Complete Campsite is a breeze to set up. So you'll pull into camp and the Cruise Master uh, ATX Level 3 airbags will have you level in no time. The electric hop top roof will lift, but only at one end at the rear end. So it opens at the rear end to give you the height that you need at the kitchen and the bathroom at the rear of the van, while at the bed end at the front, um, it, it doesn't raise at all because you don't need the height while you're, while you're sleeping, so it's quite clever. It's a single piece moulded body with a hinged one piece roof that forms a virtual monocoque construction that makes it extremely strong. It's a very unusual way to build a caravan and this comes from the fact that one of the owners is a successful boat builder. He's been building blue water yachts for a number of years with a very good reputation. Outside, everything about the kitchen and the fittings are extremely high quality. There are little features too, like the cover over the battery management system and associated electronics. They're in an open sort of bin, but the cover protects all those devices when you put other gear in that same bin. The Exodus 18 is low, long, and most importantly, lightweight making it a breeze to tow, but there is so much more to it. It's a single axle, so it's maneuverable. It rides on Cruise Master ATX Level 3 airbag suspension. So it'll take a big bump, big knock, and with a bit of extra air pressure in the airbags, will give it a bit more lift and let you go almost anywhere you want. But also the detail, look underneath the fully molded floor and you'll see no pipes, no wires, nothing exposed not even water tanks hanging out from underneath it. The underside of the Exodus 18 is perfectly smooth, nothing to catch up on. A detail I quite enjoyed on the ATX's suspension was disc brakes. They are quicker to respond than drums, have a better feel than drums, and I know require less maintenance. We towed the Exodus 18 with an older Isuzu D-Max. Now it still uses almost the same 3.0-litre turbo diesel and 6-speed auto as the new ones, but critically that MUX is only rated to 3,000 kilos, and it towed the up to 2,800 kilo Exodus 18 with no problem. The exterior of the uh, Exodus 18 and the livability of its outdoor space is where it really shines. Its external kitchen is next level. Just slides out and then in a sort of brilliant feat of engineering pivots and becomes parallel to the van rather than at right angles. It has a spacious internal bathroom with shower and a composting toilet which was raised a bit from the main bathroom floor of the shower so it makes it easier to access the composting toilet so having that raised was quite handy. The battery capacity of 480 amp hours and the solar capacity of 900 watts means you can stay at any given campsite for an extended period, effectively without running out of battery capacity. In addition to that, there's a 270 litre water tank, which means with a bit of care, again, you can stay for as, almost as long as you like in a campsite. There are a few standouts for X Factor in Exodus 18. One is a statement that came from Scott. He says that in his time with the business, they are better, not cheaper. Now you might notice that this is a $145,000 proposition. It's because in the process of making it better, they actually have found some savings. And critically one is the movement from a chopped strand to a hand laid fiberglass body. Now that typically requires more labor, but the redesign around the front of the camper has saved a lot of time. And I find that absolutely impressive. This van has got a lifetime warranty and that's pretty unusual, uh, not only in the caravan industry, but you know, across all industries. When you ring up, if you've got a problem, you, you know you're dealing with people who own the company and, and care about what you're doing. 